So we are on the airport. I'm having a little pre-flight breakfast. I wasn't able to bring much for the flight because I had no time, but so at least I have some fruit here and it looks pretty good. So a bowl of kiwis and some melons and grapefruit. And yeah, I'm super excited. to Newport Beach. We're here for my friend's wedding. So tonight is the first dinner, like a rehearsal dinner, how do you call it? And yeah, we're super excited. Just got ready, party as well. So yeah, we're on our way. It's super pretty here and it's gonna be outside. So yeah, really nice. And I'm gonna show you a bit along. We just arrived in Brooklyn in New York. The wedding was so much fun. It was so nice to see everyone and also to make new friends. It was really beautiful by the water and yeah, I was one of the bridesmaids, which was uh, very exciting. It was the first time for me to be a bridesmaid. Yeah, it was very, very nice. We had a very good time. So it's a kind of a vacation for us here. My boyfriend has a family here as well and we used to live here. So we always try to come back a few times a year see old friends and just hang out and I can always work from anywhere which is nice so that's our plan for the next 10 days I'm gonna show you a bit around take you with me New York is by far my favorite city and I always have this like super exciting feeling when I come here just like the city itself gives me so much energy and makes me like happy for no reason so yeah I am very happy to be back and we are staying in the one hotel in Brooklyn it's actually our first time we're staying in Brooklyn it's super nice just to get to know the city from a different area and different perspective it's always good to change things up and I love the one hotel because everything is like eco-friendly and made from sustainable materials and lots of plants and yeah I'm gonna show you my room now actually so you get a bit of an idea of the style and then we're gonna go to the rooftop 
So I changed and thought I'd quickly show you my outfit. So I'm wearing a t-shirt from James Purse, one of my favorite brands for like super nice basics because the quality is really nice. And then this skirt is from Brandy Melville. My shoes are from Rivera. They are also super comfy. I have them in like so many colors for the summer and yeah it's so good just in like hot weather and my bag is from Celine so this is my look today <laughs> Having another avocado toast. We're at dinner at the Soho house. So yeah, and it looks so good. So I'm probably gonna have another one. But yeah, you're not allowed to film here, so I need to be a bit. <laughs> another day and we are going for breakfast and then I wanted to show you my outfit so this one is from one teaspoon the t-shirt is James Bruce again so the sunglasses is Garrett Lake and my shorts one teaspoon and the same shoes as yesterday and the same bag so yeah having an apple now and then we're gonna take the water taxi to Soho and find a nice breakfast uh, spot or early lunch. We are a bit early because we have a jet lag, so <laughs> yeah. Off we go. Getting a chlorophyll water and a little shot. And I have a Oh. oh, maybe that's hot. 
Oh, the ginger is too strong. That's <laughs> so good for you. So, we just got to Peter Luger's Steakhouse and the guys wanted to have a steak. <laughs> so, yeah, I show you what I eat at restaurants that are really not vegan at all. Like so, I ordered broccoli and one oven baked potato. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, you can still go to very non vegan restaurants and find something you can eat. It's not like ideal and not my favorite, obviously. But the potato looks quite good, so I might have a second of the. I think here is the perfect McDonald's meal. So, yeah. So, you zeigst das and so. So, we just changed hotels and we checked in the So house. And I want to show you the room. Super nice and bright. I love big windows. Yeah, this is the view in the meatpacking. And this is the room. So, big comfy bed. And then here is the bathroom. Good morning! So, I went to Soul Cycle this morning at 8 a.m. Feeling so good and now I'm going to cry here. I'm gonna meet a friend of mine, her name is Annika, and she's Dutch and she lives here. She's so sweet. So yeah, we're gonna to go together to cry your session and then get a juice and walk around a bit. And it is so hot today. Whew, it's only like 10 o'clock and I'm already like sweating, it's so warm. Basically, you go in this cryo cabin and it's getting super cold for three minutes and it's like just like really good for your muscle recovery and it's super energizing and you feel so happy afterwards i feel like that's the main point for me that it's such a good mood booster and energy booster i hope you guys can hear me anyways i'm almost there and yeah So, you change in the rope, but you're wearing gloves, socks and shoes. And then once you're in there, you take the rope off and then you're ready to freeze. Hey guys, so I met my friend Hi. Annika <laughs> and yeah, she's Dutch. Uh, we met like, I don't know, I think three, three years ago. So, Here in New York. Yeah. It was really and nice. We just went for a little walk here by the river. It's so nice and peaceful and quiet. We just had a juice. <laughs> 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 Gonna go for lunch. We only we walk a lot. Yeah. We get nice food on the way. Summer Perfect, day. Nice day. It's actually nice here in the shade. It's, it's so, so nice. Warm. Yeah, it's so warm. So yeah, also make sure to follow her on Instagram. I'm gonna Aww. leave it right here. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, see you guys later. Bye. <laughs> I'm having a little afternoon snack. Of course, some Metro dates. They're actually super good, super soft, and taste like caramel, the best alternative to sweets. Just like chilling in the room for a little bit. Mmm. Mm. My favorite, favorite sweet snack. Hey guys, so I just had a massage. I feel so relaxed. I'm actually in Tribeca. It's one of my favorite spas around the corner here. And I quickly wanted to share a few things because I recently feel like I've been a bit more stressed than usually and I like to be very like I don't know I like to I like to not be stressed I don't know I feel like I function way more and I feel like stress just like has an impact on everything on sleep on your mood on just your overall well-being and yeah I wanted to share with you that 
you know, I have this routine of doing three things every day that are just for myself, that are just for my body, my mind. Those three things could be anything from going for a walk, listening to an audiobook, just like taking time to read, or going to the steam, the sauna, cryotherapy, or getting a massage doing some stretching, some yoga, like just anything that makes you feel peaceful and balanced. I think like recently I've been thinking about it more and trying to do it really every day because I feel such a big difference. So yeah, today is already a very good day because I've been to Soul Cycle, I got a green juice and I got a massage. So I ticked already three boxes. <laughs> and yeah, I would love to know what you guys do yourself to feel relaxed and to de-stress a little bit. I made a de-stress plan to-do list because yeah, I just think it was a little too much lately and I've been doing quite a lot of things at once, which is not the best. But yeah, I would love to know what you guys do. So leave that in the comments below and I hope you guys find these little tips helpful and inspiring. Yeah, just a little note on the side. So I am actually now going to Soho to meet Pear and his little nephew Max. He's also in town and we're just gonna have a nice uh, lunch and enjoy the day. It's so beautiful today. just got back to the hotel and the dinner was so nice oh my god we had so much food <sighs> my stomach is exploding <laughs> but it was so good and actually it was so much fun because we went with pears my boyfriend's uncle his wife his uncle's wife's daughter <laughs> and my boyfriend's nephew so like he has a lot of family here in new york we went all together and it was super sweet of them to choose a vegan restaurant the vegan bolognese was my favorite and i usually never order it kind of i don't really like those like non-vegan dishes when they make them vegan usually but this was here was so good oh my god so much dessert so 
my stomach is hurting. But it was definitely worth it. And actually one very nice thing I wanted to tell you guys. So my boyfriend's uncle's wife and her daughter, we also went together to Aspen uh, earlier this year. I don't know if you've seen my video from there. And they were saying since Aspen, they're drinking green juice, green juice every morning because I, yeah, I bought the green juice in Aspen and like make them try it and everything. And they said it feels so much better. And also her skin got a lot better. And they also, <laughs> ever since Aspen, they're having the sweet potatoes. And yeah, I told them to make them with no oil or anything. And they turn out so nice. And usually people think like you need to put lots of oil and like add it like things to make it tasty but actually it's so good with nothing on so yeah I'm really glad they like that now and we had such a fun evening and it was so delicious so it's like the perfect way to end our trip in New York I hope you guys enjoyed watching and I will see you in the next one probably from Turks and Caicos because we go there tomorrow so it's gonna be very nice just vacation chill i'm not sure what i'm gonna film there <laughs> but yeah anyways i hope you guys enjoyed watching and make sure to subscribe to my channel and give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it and i see you very soon and just to give you an idea my stomach is so big if you suffer from bloating you're definitely not the only one I suffer from it as well but I know kind of things what to do to avoid it but of course like you can't avoid it all the time so just want to show you guys I have it as well but yeah if you want me to share more tips about how to get rid of bloating let me know maybe you can do a separate video just about that yep okay bye guys going to take bath